hello guys welcome to my channel today's video we are going to be doing an afro wig so we'll be needing this hair net we're needing hair net a crochet hook like this one i'm using this bigger one and uh, i'm going to be using this products for the work this uh darling darling so this is it i'm going to be using this one so and this is what it looks like it has this kinking coils since it's afro wig that we are going to be doing so you're going to be getting a kinking like this of any product any product but this is the one i got this time this is my first time of working with this one so and uh, a pair of scissors for your cutting and all of that So if this is your first time of stumbling across this channel, I want to say you're welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. So I'm going to be placing the cap on the dummy just as you're saying. Then I'm going to stretch it out. I stretch it out, I mean. So it was stretched out because I was working with a smaller cap because I wanted the wig to be tight, the cap to be tight. So I got a small one. So depending on the one you want, so if you stretch it out this way so that at the end it will not be too small so that is why i stretch it on the dummy this way so now i am going to be unraveling this one so that i can be taking it section by section and cut so like i said this is my first time of working with this one so i noticed this one is long the others i've been using are not like this so this one is long you see so it's my first time of getting this one and i like it as well others are also good so so that anyone you get in your area is good as well to still give you the same results so the only difference is i think this product their own is long the product is long longer than the ones i've been using so if you're getting this one because of the length i want the afro to look like so i'm going to be cutting it into three so i folded it into three so when you do it this way to enable you get the right measurement so then i cut so now all i'm going to be doing is to use my crochet hook to attach the extension which is the kinking on the cap so as you can see after inserting my crochet pull it out then from the hole i insert the rest of it and I'll drag it pull it so that it will be tight then i tie another knot again just to be on the safer side so i will not have the wig pulling off while i'm trying to comb or kind of fix it then it start pulling off so that is the reason for tying it for the second time to make sure that i'm on the safer side so for those of you who are not stylists that are watching this video right now i am trying my possible best for you to see it's very easy it is not a a week that you must be a stylist before you can do it so as you keep watching at uh, a point of the video i'm going to be playing this in slow motion for you to really understand what i'm trying to teach you and for those of us who are stylists, so as you can see, this is where I've gotten to. This is where one, just one, that long one, this is where it got me. So like I said, this is my first time of working. This is novel good. So if it, this is the one you got, it's shorter than the other one. You can see this is how it is. So my purpose for showing you this one is uh, showing you so that if this product is the one you got, do not cut this one 
if you cut it it's going to end up very short so except it is what you want but if not that do not cut so in this length i'm making now it's just this you know this particular one has a straight part so you will not be needing that you cut it off so don't need that so that's why i am showing you this one so this i think this is the only one i ended up using so that one pack was enough for me so i'm only showing you this should in case you're going to be working with this one too so that's why so guys if this is your first time of coming across my channel i want to say you are highly welcome and those of you who have been my subscribers for long now i say welcome as well god bless you very very much because you guys are the reason why i still have the zeal to make videos and post here on youtube so thank you very much guys so if today is your first time please do not watch without subscribing subscribe help me because i'm trying to reach my first 1000 subscribers so this is how it has gotten so far so i actually started this week at night i was kind of bored and a lot of things were just coming into my mind so i just have to engage myself into something to just forget about what was bothering me so guys if anything is bothering you or you're just alone or you feel you're alone the only thing you just have to do is just to look for that thing you love most that thing you love doing most and keep doing it it's going to help you forget about that thing that is bothering you so that was why i started making this week that night so i could not sleep so you can see is at night i was making use of my rig light while i was making it so i wasn't planning to make the week that day but because of i don't just want to be thinking of anything so i decided to just walk since my baby was at sleep then so here is the next morning i could not finish it that night so this is how far it has gotten so like i said before so for those of you who are not stylists you can see who don't know how to use it so you can see that the crochet has where you can open and close it so now i'm going to be showing you in a slow motion on how you can achieve this so this is what i've been doing all this way from the beginning to this particular point so you just have to insert your hook and make sure you are not taking just one a uh, one thread because this cap is a knitted one with a wool so make sure that when you pick you have two lines on your crochet to avoid the cap maybe if that rope cuts the whole cap will lose so just do that so you can see then that small lock that is there just have to cover it so it can hold the extension in there and when you are pulling it out it's not going to pull your cap so afterwards open it and uh, bring out the hair extension then locate the middle this way you can see place your two fingers inside and pull out the ends from there drag it up make sure it's tight that is the purpose for pulling it but not too hard that to damage your cap just pull it make sure it's tight then afterwards open up the middle or take a little from it and tie it up again for the second time so that to be on the safer side so that you to be guaranteed that the hair will not end up end up pulling up i mean so just tie it for the second time so i hope you understand the illustration it's very very easy it's very easy guys then tight you can see 
so it's as easy as that so let's complete it so immediately i woke up that morning as you can see i'm still putting on the same dress so ah, i slept that night so early morning of it immediately i stood up brushed then i continue just wanted to finish it so you can see into three again i think this was the last one this was the last one from the packet i'm not mistaken so guys please support me subscribe to my channel please so as you can see i pack it up then trying to fix in anywhere i have space you can see and while picking this part be very very careful not to pick the elastic that is inside of the cap the band that was placed in it so just be picking the up do not pick the elastic so you can see all i'm trying to do is to figure out where is scanty then try to fill it up because you don't want at the end of the day after wearing the wig maybe little breeze they start seeing the cap so I was looking for any empty space to fill it up so now I noticed somewhere at the middle of the cap you can see was empty so i needed to fill that up as well so it's a kind of maintenance kind of the last touch was what i was doing looking for every corner every part that has space to fill it up so i'm done with it I just have to arrange it now so that I can make sure that I don't have any space that does not have a, or let me say that I did not fix the kinking on so I'm going to be applying my coconut oil you can use your petroleum jelly you can use any oil you have that can make the wig shine So I was applying the coconut oil to make sure that it's shiny. So after this, all I have to do now is to trim with your scissors. So trim it round to get that look. You can see. It's very ugly without the trimming because of those excesses that came out from it. So you just have to trim all those ones out. They are not needed. So if you want yours to be bigger than this, you want your own to be fuller than this, you can get two packs. But this is the one I needed now. This is how I want it because my hair is about this full it's just about this length so this is how i wanted it so that's why but if you want a longer one and a fuller one the fuller you want the cap the more of the kinking it will consume so two packs can give you that full look you want you can also use one and a half so if you want a longer one then cut two is okay So guys, this is the outcome of the hair as you can see. It looks like natural hair. See that? So that's it guys. So if you find this video helpful and um, if you are not yet a subscriber to this channel of mine, please do me the favor. Of subscribing share and like and also if you have any question or if there's any other week you want me to do a video about 
just let me know at the comment box below so that is it for today guys please subscribe to this channel help me reach my first 1000 subscribers as you do god bless you so i will see you in my next video see you then stay clear of trouble eat healthy take good care of yourself and most especially love yourself just like i am loving this week right now because i love carrying my hair like this but after the carrying of the hair like this get the compliment is that your hair is this your hair at the end of the day to comb and to detangle the hair and that will be a problem so whenever i want to come out with this look i have a wig for this look now so you can as well you know take out a little bit of your hair here that is if you're having a natural hair that we can give you the same texture and the kind of comb it on top of it and uh, you can also make um, fine weaving like this see so you can also wear it this way so you see you see that whichever way you choose